I put that work and take a L if I clock out. What's good? It's your boy in black. And black Sharon Sun, aka 412 Car Care, is definitely in the building today. Just got done running crazy. You feel red lights so and we slow down. Hold up. Wait a minute. Yeah, we just got done running around crazy trying to collect everything we needed to have because. Uh, my shop vac wasn't working and whatever whatever dogs aren't acting right whatever whatever but uh we on our way now um i want to share something with y'all uh i tried to pitch myself um just two days ago on friday today's sunday I tried to pitch myself to someone with a different background different color complexion skin Needless to say, that didn't even really work out. He didn't want to hear too much of what I had to say. But that's cool. Uh, sometimes when stuff like that happens still, I be wanting to throw in the towel, give up, be like, you know what? I'm going to stick with the customers I got. But at the same time, there's that part of me that's not giving up. You got to have that hunger to not give up. I got to teach myself not to get discouraged. Because two days later, not even two days later, but a day later, I tried the same pitch on someone. What do you know? We're gonna go detail two of his cars today. Not one, but two. So we're, 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 we're cooking now. Uh, let's keep on fighting, man. Keep pushing, never give up. Even when you wanna give up, don't. Because you ain't helping nobody giving up. Especially if you got responsibilities and people that look up to you. Keep on fighting. And uh, yeah, that's, that's my message. That's my message for right now, man. But stay tuned. Watch the whole video. You know, take some notes if you got to. We get to pop. Gotta get this interior straightened up. Yes, sir. Cleaned up. Start with the interior. See that? See that thing flicking a little bit? We gonna take care of that. Get that back right. Don't really need like four or five coats. It just probably need to be jumped back out. We'll take care of all of that in there. Little stuff. Little dust. We gonna bring it back. We gonna get them right. Stay tuned, my dudes. The most uh, concerned about um, got some rust deposits, brake dust deposits. Uh, when it's all said and done, I'm gonna be bringing this wheel back to factory look. We just got them rinsing the exterior off. I already did this wheel. No tire shine yet, of course. I did this wheel. Yeah, tried to do what I could with the wheel well, but the wheel well is a material, it's that new material, so it kind of like holds on and shit, stuff. Um, we're gonna get it done. First stage of the interior is done. It's looking real good, phenomenally. Got a still vacuum, but first stage is done. In the front and in the back. Still got a vacuum. Oh, my camera's all messed up. Uh, gonna have to hit that front window. Get some glass up on top too. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's a lot better. So yeah. After. Before. Interior. About 98% finished. Exterior just got done getting washed. We did the wheels. This wheel needs a little bit more. I'm waiting on the extra artillery. Got the tire already on drip. All right. We got the black accent on drip. Okay. Before we apply wax, I apply tire shine and I apply a little bit of bring that black back to this. Don't like 
half-assing it. If one part of the car is gonna shine, the whole outside will shine. But uh, I like to keep the factories looking really, really good. The tire shine that I use is long-lasting. This vehicle is garage kept. Come to find out what it looks like in 30 days after being garage kept. You see Sun is doing his thing. Sun's doing his thing. The car just got done doing this part of the truck and drawing it. He didn't get this side yet. We just wiped all the soap off and rinsed it off. He has the lights up here. He's working his way to the other side. So, um, I don't know about y'all, but the grind don't stop. Some people say the grind stop. Some people will take breaks. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. I might only sleep for five, six hours. But you know what? I'm up every morning supporting other businesses, supporting myself, supporting my family. A whole lot of gang shit, boy. But we ain't in no gang. Thank you, clean. Started on it a little bit. You know what I mean? This is his work vehicle, so we had some stuff in it that we can't move or some stuff that we could move. You already wiped this down? Where you at? What are you doing? You losing focus. You already wiped this? Huh? You should. You want to do the seats over again? We're gonna get this thing going on. Got the Alcantara in the inside and leather. So we need to get all this on the same page. You see the difference? Yeah. Can't do it like that, bro. You gotta do it all the way. You got some 24s on here. We're gonna get right. Some bugs. Get them out of here. You know what I mean? The rims is black, but they got dirt on them. Nice little scratch right there. We're gonna try to darken that without doing the paint correction because that's extra. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, this is what this is what we doing for a second time today. So let's get it topping. I'm gonna start on the interior, then I'm gonna get to the outside. Stick with me. You got wheels as big as this, and open up space, hit that inner barrel. The customer will appreciate it. You know, usually the front face is what you want to concentrate on. This is the front face, spokes, inner barrel. So I don't always do the inner barrel. Um, when I do do the inner barrel, a lot of times I gotta take the wheels off. That's that costs extra. That's extra labor. Uh, and this is a different case. I'm able to reach the inner barrel without having to do that, so I won't be charging extra for the inner barrel. This is also a material where stuff needs pressure washed off, so cleaning that up when it's easy. This has the electronic rails, step rails. We're gonna have to get the door open, wipe those off before we start wiping off the rest of the car. 
far as, uh, as far as soaping it down, but I just wanted to give off a little bit of information as far as like uh, doing something like this wheel here, these Dianellis. But yeah, front wheel is already done. Wheel is going to look awesome. Stay tuned. Yeah, for the process, there's the gun, with the exterior. I already did the wheels. Getting the excess water off the body right now. You know what I mean? About to put some drip on the tires. And uh, yeah, this is where we at. I hate doing it in the sun, but time of the day that it is, ain't got no choice. Son's doing his side, I'm doing my side. I'm gonna run over to his side, get everything that he couldn't reach. We bug short. This is a big boy right here. But uh, yeah, so. This is just an excess water wipe down. You know, I'm still using my towels that you can use to dry, but that's just for the excess water. Getting it right, though. Definitely getting it right. You know, the paint wasn't perfect already. It's a couple scratches on it that I noticed it on it before. Sorry about that. But yeah. Power of the wax. We're going to get to it. truck ain't been waxed in a while. Probably since I left the dealer. But yeah. Keep keep it up, man. Keep it up. Tires on drip. And we got the interior on drip. Step rail on drip. Got to put the floor mats back in. Yeah. The process. Boy, I'm glad I got it. I already started waxing this before I started recording. But yeah. You know what I'm saying? I already got this wheel wiped off. Son's wiping the wheels off with a little extra boopity boop. That's just lint. Don't worry about that. It'll come off. For years. There's wax all over this side. He's working his way around. Get done with the finished truck. Looking righteous. Before he's working on drip. <laughs> 